हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रतेश कुमार सिंह आई एम परसुइंग माय मास्टर्स फ्रॉम एन आई टी की सूरत कल इन कंप्यूटेशनल डेटा साइंस एंड टुडे विद मी आई हैव अरविंद हु इज परसुइंग हिज एम एस सी फ्रॉम क्राइस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ बैंगलोर एंड ही इज करेंटली वर्किंग इन पब्लिक अफेयर्स सेंटर एंड सो वेलकम अरविंद एंड मे बी यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस योर and tell us why did you choose the msc in uh, data science in christ university college okay uh, as you told uh, thanks for the invite so basically i am ganesh arvind and i am from pondicherry so uh, i did my uh, undergrad in uh, computer science it's a engineering degree so after that i was working for an year uh, at the time i was just searching for uh, my post graduation studies which one can i do and uh, i had a uh, rather than just going to the mainstream thing i i wanted to do something different so uh, i chose data science and uh, at the time when i was searching for a university the data science it didn't uh, emerge well in india but uh, uh, in abroad countries they were already they are just marching on to fifth or sixth year in their studies okay. so i just uh, when i was just looking for a institution in india i ended up uh, finding a christ university in bangalore and christ university in pune which just matched my expectation similar to like okay. post graduation degree in data science mm-hmm. so like uh, data science since it is an application based of course so i did some research of around 6 months on which course i can just pursue and i just ended up with data science okay okay very well uh, can you tell us about the recruitment procedure to get into the course and some eligibility criteria for this okay actually basically uh, if you just want to get into a christ university or something uh, you have a uh, two rounds of uh, process the first one is aptitude and the second one is interview and uh, while just going on to the aptitude basic uh, logical reasoning and aptitude reasoning is in, uh, enough but when you just go on for a interview process uh, you need to have some basic knowledge about what is data science and uh, as, as you guys know like data science is a uh, branch of uh, it is just a combination of mathematics statistics and uh, computer science mm-hmm. so if you have uh, like uh, did your undergrad in any one of the stream you can you'll, you can expect questions from these streams okay and uh, is there any gate score eligibility or separate uh, actually uh, since this is a msc degree you don't yeah, yeah, need yeah. to have gate score or something just a normal eligibility of 55 percentage pass mark i guess okay. and uh, the, as i told before graduation with any degree uh, cs uh, statistics and mathematics you can easily uh, apply for data science in christ university fine sir and uh, how was your to- overall experience in this college like uh, the curriculum uh, uh, basically and... if you ask about christ university the overall experience is really good and uh, but because of this covid we, co- we couldn't have uh, proper uh, enjoyment in the college like uh, only my first year was in college and the second uh, year was completely online but uh, uh, the faculty and everyone they'll just uh, help you a lot in uh, completing the uh, assignments and those things and you'll have regular assignments unlike uh, other universities so uh, you, you don't have any other option other than to just uh, uh, have a like study all the time or something Yeah, yes and what about the fees how much is the fees for uh fees is like first lakh uh, sorry first year i paid around 1 1.4 lakhs and the second year some 1.25 lakhs okay okay fine and what about the placement scenario there and uh, uh yeah play, placement in the sense placement is uh, average only mm-hmm. like uh, the job profiles are mainly for software engineer and the christ okay. university this is the, to, when i joined it was uh, in the 2019 and that was the first time they have launched data science okay by by the year 2019 only people have come up to know okay fine there is a proper degree course to do a data science mm-hmm. before that i have seen uh, notices advertisements where you where they used to give diploma courses for 6 months diploma courses for one year but uh, i think 2019 only most of the colleges they started having a proper uh post graduation as a data science okay so mostly the job is for uh, software thing and mm-hmm. uh, due to covid like we couldn't uh, have a proper placement drive yes, okay what approximately like per placement percentage or uh, uh, what kind of companies uh, what different companies have come uh different companies in the sense like uh, we have got uh, deloitte and uh, we have got uh, 
uh, I think B to I business to intelligence, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then uh, one more company which is a which is a good company in Hyderabad, and uh, they have a decent salary package, like more than eight lakhs or nine lakhs. And uh, the as I told, uh, Crys is more ma- majorly famous for the software companies. Companies. So I think the maximum package is was around twenty two lakhs per annum. I'm not sure about the company name. Like, mm-hmm. uh, when I was just referring to the website, I just came to know this. Okay. okay. And uh, one common doubt uh, people often have is that what is mm. the difference between an MSc course and an M Tech course when it comes to data science? So can okay. you elaborate on that? <clears throat> okay. Uh, basically. M Tech is a degree which engineering graduates take, yeah. and uh, if you just want to get as a uh, get into an M Tech course or something, you might need to have GATE. Mm-hmm. You need to complete a GATE yes. exam and need to have a decent GATE score. And uh, M Tech is more of theoretical and research oriented thing. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I, I think you need to have one year of uh, out of the M Tech uh, uh, out of the M Tech thing. Yeah. One year you need to just have a research work, which is a mandatory thing. Yeah, sometimes. And, uh, yeah, whereas in MSc program, uh, it is it is open for all the undergrads degree. Okay. Anyone who has who has any undergrads degree, they can just apply for any MSc program. And uh, mostly MSc, the admission that happens is through the internal assessment of the college which you are referring to. Yeah. And uh, if you ask me, uh, MSc it has more uh, how to say industry oriented approach. Okay. So they uh, like uh, like M Tech where you need to have one year of research. In MSc, mm-hmm. you need to have six months of internship, okay. and our curriculum it is similar to that. Out of four semester, three semester only we have theoretical classes, and one entire semester we just contribute for internship. Internship, okay. So internship is compulsory for everyone. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like our fourth semester marks are based on the internship only. Okay, and but how do all the students get an internship? Like they have to do six months internship for sure, but how do they like they do themselves? They say find somehow like that. Actually, uh, if you if we you ask me this question, I would say like uh, when they just join a post graduation degree, they could start searching for internship because uh, I just started doing internship from my uh, from fourth month of my first semester. From them, I, from then I was doing internship in a company. Then I in my second semester I changed to one another company. My entire second semester I used to do go for internship after my college years, oh. and third semester. uh karnataka government they approached me for an internship i just applied for that mm-hmm. and uh, it was some 3 months of internship for the covid and after that uh, these people uh, the public affairs center this is just a public sector undertaken okay. so these people they just got my resume from karnataka government and they just contacted me like uh, uh, they'll just provide me an internship or something great then uh... uh like uh, as you mentioned that it is mostly mostly industry oriented but uh, hmm. do people go for phd also like is it research oriented somewhat or they will mostly will go for jobs only actually <clears throat> uh now christ they have started a phd course also okay. so it's upon the user's wish and uh, mm-hmm. if you ask me I- i'm just working right now and also i have applied for phd in data science in the christ university itself okay so after this uh, graduation i will be pursuing my phd and i think the time period is generally 3 to 5 years and pa uh, christ they of- offer both full time and part time in phd time okay okay nice so i think many other students might have also applied yeah, yeah. okay so uh, like uh, Did you apply to any other colleges except for Christ University for pursuing a master's in data science? Actually, I was referring to the abroad universities, but uh, mm-hmm. in India, I just applied for the Christ University. Uh, but when I just went through it, I saw some two other universities where the data science was there. One was in Chandigarh, and other was in other was Saint Xavier's, I guess, in Mumbai. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, like any final suggestions you would like to give to students who want to join this course or who want to pursue their career in data science? Uh, <clears throat> like, if the students they want to pursue their career in data science, I I I would uh, I would advise them to take up more uh, more courses where they can understand why they are doing the statistical function, why they are doing the mathematical functions, because people they have a vague idea like data science is much related to data only. like doing the data works only but there are lots of works behind that we need to understand the data in order to understand the data you need to have a 
some amount of statistical knowledge and also the mathematical knowledge in order to understand how the data has been distributed okay. so like uh, they could just start from basic data cleaning in excel mm -hmm. and uh, like then they can try it with python or like mostly data science people they use python and r as their uh, major tool for data cleaning and all the other stuff if you just move on to a big data or something that's where uh, apache hadoop those things come into picture yes. but as far as the students if they are really interested in data science they can start with the some small coding exercise then ml and ml and ai algorithms they can yes. just start learning like how it works yeah great uh, thank you arun for uh, coming you. here and giving your time thank you thank, thank you so much it was my pleasure